My name is Junin Garrity. Uh, I'm the Editorial Content Director for Ubisoft Shanghai, and I'm here with Michael De Plata, the Creative Director for Tom Clancy's N War. So uh, today we're going to give you a bit of a look at some of the gameplay in the game, including a battle for Washington, as you can see here, and also show you some of the factions and the uh, abilities of the units. So three factions in the game, the Joint Strike Force, the USA team, the Spetsnaz from Russia, and the Enforcer Corps from Europe. So once you choose your faction, you can go through, you can choose from a number of different task forces with specializations, and then you go on to this world map. Um, that's the campaign map for the online game. And then also, once you've got your battalion and you're in the game, you can go through and you can review every single one of your units. All of your guys have their own experience, and there's about 100 upgrades you can purchase for your faction as well. Everything from weapons and armor to special abilities, so you can really customize and max out your own personal army. So this is what we call the barracks, and uh, one of our major inspirations for this was uh, the Need for Speed series uh, and their series of upgrades and how they visually uh, presented them and the effect that they had. So uh, that's what we've got here. We just really thought that Need for Speed could uh, benefit from a lot more, more weapons and modern military technology, so that's where we've, uh, we've taken this. Absolutely, and we could benefit from neon <laughs> under the tank treads. Okay, so you've chosen your troops, you've upgraded them, you've got your guys into the battle. Now here we are, um, and we're defending Washington from the Russian menace. Here is the, uh, the strategic point of view that you only unlock if you call in a command vehicle. Okay, so we've sort of jumped right into the action here. Um, so you can see we're on the battlefield, we've got our gunships, they're defeating a charge of uh, Russian armor. We've got our artillery at the back line so we can fire at very long range. We can zoom in and see the action just like you would in an FPS. You can see our artillery strikes coming in and now we've hit them with an EMP which actually immobilizes all of that Russian armor. Yeah, and an EMP is one of the off-map supports that you can purchase in the barracks too. The other off-map supports include airstrikes and task forces that are sent on to the battlefield. Regular army guys, you can see our troops taking position, they're taking uh, advantage of cover, they're marking those enemy tanks for, uh, for an airstrike. Um, there's more electronic warfare that'll hold those guys in place and then we can hit them with an airstrike as well. And now we're bringing our tanks up, you can see them moving in and you can see the special weapons of the tank, that was an exploding shell from them, so very powerful. This is another one of the upgrades, which is uh, a deep strike, which allows you to parachute uh, regular troops far into the enemy lines. So for your riflemen on the ground, they're your special forces guys. Basically, they're your ghost recon troops. They're very, very powerful. You can get them in behind the enemy armor, and you can capture key strategic positions. Here uh, we've uh, earmarked a uh, building for an airstrike, a level three airstrike. You can see that's incoming now. And bam! Boom! There it goes. <laughs> and that gives us a say, quick chance to show off the destruction as well. Um, so now what we can do, we can come back, survey the carnage, and uh, that was a quick look at the Tom Clancy's End War.